Hello, my name is John Pinto. I'm a mathematician and amateur astronomer, and I'm going to be presenting Dominic Prunet's course on celestial navigation. Welcome to Celestial Navigation using the course developed by Dominique Prunet in his book, Celestial Navigation. You can find more information about his books at www.marinenavigationbooks.com. In addition to the textbook, there is also an exercise book for a class and home study, um, which you can also find uh, information on where to purchase it at uh, marinenavigationbooks.com. But you can also download it um, as a PDF uh, from that website. This first session is just an outline of the course. Uh, we're going to be doing short videos uh, for each one of the uh, sections of the course. Um, normally when Dominique does this course, um, there are many sections done within one session. We won't be doing that in this video course. We're gonna do one short video for each section. So as you can see on this uh, first slide, this would be four videos. One would be the outline of the course. The next video would be a review of coastal navigation methods, then basic concepts of celestial navigation. And the fourth video would be the sextant and its corrections, and so forth and so on, as you see as we go through these slides. We'll then do a video on time and the chronometer and its corrections. Then one on the use of time to measure longitude. Then we'll cover the sun coordinates in the almanac, both the declination and Greenwich hour angle for round hours without interpolation. Round hours is uh, Dominique's phrase for what we might call whole numbered hours as whole hours. So that would be like eight o'clock, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock. Then we'll cover how to get the declination in GHA by interpolation. When you do need to uh, take a site with your sextant, that's not on the whole numbered hours, such as eight hours, 15 minutes, and 14 seconds. Then we'll cover the very important concept of local hour angle, uh, which is uh, critical for um, calculating your position. Then we'll discuss getting your latitude by noon site. At that noon site, you can also approximate longitude we can also approximate latitude by sighting on Polaris. Then we'll talk about the site reduction tables, which we use to calculate our position. Uh, we'll, in that uh, session, we'll talk about uh, the spherical triangle and the Mark St. Hilaire method, which is the method we'll be using uh, to determine our location um, using celestial navigation. Then we'll get into the site reduction tables themselves and talk about selecting a smart or assumed latitude and longitude, uh, pulling out of the site reduction tables the bearing of the sun and the calculated altitude, and finally the intercept. We'll then talk about work forms, which helps to organize uh, pulling all this data together um, so that you don't miss anything and uh, eliminates a lot of mistakes. Finally, um, the, the end result is that we will plot a line of position for each site, and using those lines of position, we'll be able to locate ourselves. We'll then discuss twilight, which is important to know if you're going to be sighting for stars or planets or the moon. We'll then discuss how to take a site with the moon and calculate your position. Same with planets. We'll do a session on stars, and when we talk about the stars, we'll be talking about Aries, something called SHA, or Sidereal Hour Angle, and Selected Stars. We'll then cover how to get a precise latitude from Polaris as opposed to approximate one, and we'll talk about how to pre-select which planets and stars you might want to shoot uh, during twilight um, for your position. There are review exercises that you can do um, as part of this. I'm not sure how much of that we'll actually do in a video other than just introduce the, 
that they are available. And similarly for the home exercises uh, in preparation for what Dominique would do as far as a test, which we will not be doing in this course. If you were doing this course uh, in person with Dominique, you would have an outdoor session where you would get out your sextant and start taking some practice sites uh, with your sextant, which again, we will not be doing in this video course. And finally, Dominique would give you a test, which we will not be doing. Thank you for listening to this first session, and I hope you are looking forward to the uh, upcoming sessions uh, in Dominique's excellent course. Thank you very much.